Kingdom Blessings. I'm Apostle Sheila. Welcome to Moet Shawaga, the appointed time of refreshing. Let's prepare our hearts and look to the Word of God. We're looking at 1 Peter chapter 5, verses 10 and 11. I'm reading from the Life Application Study Bible. It says, In His kindness, God called you to His eternal glory by means of Jesus Christ. After you have suffered a little while, He will restore, support, and strengthen you, and He will place you on a firm foundation. All power is His forever and ever. Amen. The note says, When we are suffering, we often feel as though our pain will never end. Peter gave these faithful believers a broader perspective. In comparison with eternity, their suffering would last only a little while. Some of Peter's readers would be strengthened and delivered in their own lifetimes. Others would be released from their suffering through death. All of God's faithful followers are assured of an eternal life with Christ where there will be no more suffering. My dearly beloved, my dear brothers and sisters, my dear sons and daughters, I come to remind you that trouble won't last always. Here, Peter encourages the believers and he says that in God's kindness, in his kindness, in his mercy, he called us to his eternal glory by means of Jesus Christ. He said, after you have suffered a little while. Now, one day for, <laughs> one day is like 2,000 years in the sight of God. A thousand years is like one day for him. So we'll be suffering a little while compared to our eternal glory or the eternal weight of glory that we'll be able to spend with Jesus Christ. We're only going to suffer a little while. The word of God comes to mind that we can may endure for a night. It may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. And after you've suffered a little while, I love what he says after that. After you've suffered a little while, he will, not he might, he will restore. He will support. He will strengthen. Hallelujah. And he's going to place you on a firm foundation. After you've suffered a little while, you might have to go through the fire. But even after that, it's only going to be a little while. The storm is going to last just a little while. You'll be in the valley just a little while. But after that, he will restore. That means he's going to bring you back to the original state. So if you're worn down, if you're beat down by the storm, he's going to restore you. He's going to support you. You may think that you can't make it, but he's going to undergird you. He's going to support you. He's going to strengthen you. Even as he's supporting you, he's going to give you strength and you'll be able to stand on your own. And then he's going to place you on a firm foundation. When he puts you down after supporting you, holding you, and you strengthen and you can stand again. Now he's going to put you on a place, place you. That means he's going to take special care and put you in a specific place. He's going to place you on a firm foundation, not in sink and sand, not in another storm, but on a firm foundation. Hallelujah. And all power, it belongs to our God. Not just for now, but forever and ever. And then it says, Amen. Let it be so. It is so in Jesus' name. So I want to encourage you, my brother, my sister, my sons, my daughters. I want to encourage you. Trouble won't last always. It's only a little while. 
You, you just got to take it a little while longer. Hang in there. Hold on. The help is on the way. He's going to restore you after this. He's going to strengthen you and support you after this. And then he's going to place you. Hallelujah. On a firm foundation. Be encouraged and know that your suffering is only a little while. And then after that, he's going to restore you, support you, strengthen you, and place you on a firm foundation. Let's pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we come before you giving you glory, honor, and praise. We are excited about your word. We thank you, Lord, that suffering only lasts a little while, Lord. Help us to hold out Holy Spirit. And we know that after we've suffered a little while, you're going to restore us. You're going to support us. You're going to strengthen us. And then you're going to place us on a firm foundation. So, Father, we thank you. We thank you for your word that gives us hope. We thank you for your word that gives us strength. That gives us, oh God, answers to our questions. We thank you for leading and guiding us into all truth, Father. Forgive us of all sin. Anything that's contrary to your word, God, we don't want anything to separate us from you. Nothing can separate us from the love of God. We thank you. We give you glory. We give you honor. Thank you, Lord, that we can depend on you, that you, oh God, are with us always. You are with us always. Father, we love you and bless you. We lift up every ministry gift, every apostle, prophet, pastor, teacher, evangelist, every elder, every minister, missionary, every intercessor. We lift up now in the name of Jesus. We pray that you would have your way. Have your way, Father. Have your way. In the name of Jesus, Father, our desire is that you are glorified. So be lifted up. Be glorified in the heavens and in the earth. Be glorified with our lives. Oh God. Father, we pray for every son of God that you would work in us, that we would manifest your presence, your glory throughout the world, pushing back the darkness. Father, we thank you. We bless you. We adore you. We are excited about being your ambassadors. Walk in us. Work in us. Work through us. We look to you, God. You are our Father. We pray for the sick and afflicted, the shut-in. Father, there is no distance with you. There is nothing too hard for you. No infirmity too hard for you. You can do it all. So we look to you. You are the author and finish of our faith. Father, lay your hands on your children. Release healing in the atmosphere, even as they sleep tonight. I pray, God, for sound sleep for God. I disagree with your word, for you give your beloved sleep, sweet sleep. Father, I give you glory. I give you honor. And no weapon formed against us shall prosper. We offer our bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto you, which is our reasonable service. We are not conformed to this world, but Lord God, we ask that you would transform us by renewing our minds, Lord. That we will have the mind of Christ. For it is our desire to do thy will. That you would get glory from our lives. We can do nothing without you. You are the author and finish of our faith. So Father, work with us. Work on us. Work on us until you see your reflection. Consume us till you see your reflection. You are a refining fire. Consume us. We look to you. You are the author and the finish of our faith. You know the plans that you have for us for good and not evil. To bring us to an expected end. So Father, take us to the next dimension in you. Open up our spiritual eyes. Teach us how to walk on the supernatural. Father, we bind everything that's not like you in the name of Jesus. Every attack of the enemy we resist. But first we humble ourselves before you, almighty God. We humble ourselves and we come in alignment. We ask that you would synchronize our hearts, minds, and motives. That we would be after your heart, God. Thank you for all the things you've done, but 
most of all, thank you for the relationship that we have such an awesome privilege to come before you, to cast all our cares upon you, to love on you, to magnify you. We thank you. We glorify you. Have your way in our lives, Lord. We lift our children to you, we ask God, that you would cover in your blood. We lift, oh God, our spouses up to you. We ask that you would strengthen, that you would keep, that you would deliver, that you would set free. We thank you, Lord, for all our family members, all our friends. We thank you. We love you. We adore you. There's no one like you, Father. You are a good, good Father. And Father, we just bless you. We ask for Holy Spirit to lead us and guide us into all truth. Show us our next steps. Show us what you would have us to do. We thank you, Lord. We thank you. We appreciate you. Have your way in us. In the mighty, mighty name of Yeshua Amashim. We give you thanks. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. And amen. Well, citizens of the Most High God, be reminded that after you've suffered a little while, God will, God will restore you, support you, strengthen you, and then he's going to place you on a firm foundation. Hallelujah. Well, beloved, this has been Moet Shawaga. The appointed time of refreshing. I pray that you've been blessed, revived, and refreshed in the presence of the Lord. Shalom. So.